So this is question 2.2 of Klapner Kolenko and in this question we have to uh, find out the uh, the path that uh, the distance that m1 will travel in time t. So let us do this question and uh, let us make free body diagram of m1. Our horizontal motion is interest of our interest so we will draw only horizontal forces. So this is T, T and this is our mass M1 and for uh, M2 vertical motion is of interest. So I will draw only vertical forces. So this is M2 and above is tension. I am drawing tension, the, these both tension are same because the string is massless. Hence, now let, uh, let me draw constraint forces. So let me choose this as my origin. So let us at time t, this is if this is x1 and uh, this distance is x2. So the string length is L, then x2 uh, minus x1 must be L. This is my constraint equation, constraint equation. And if for m1 my uh, equation of motion is t equals to m1 x1 double dot and uh, i'm choosing this direction as positive so uh, m2 g minus m2 into g minus t equals to m2 into x2 double dot now this is my equation 1 this is this is my equation 2 now let me uh, differentiate this equation then according to this x2 double dot equals to x1 double dot so i can put this uh, constraint part in this equation so m1 x1 double dot and from here i will get m2 g minus t equals to m2 x1 double dot. Let me add both equations and I will get m2 g equals to m1 plus m2 x1 double dot. Hence x1 double dot equals to m2 g upon m1 plus m2. So this is the acceleration and uh, I have, uh, this is acceleration so the acceleration of x1 is this so as the system has started from uh, rest hence our uh, our uh, distance will be s equal to ut plus half a t square s zero plus half a is our m2 g upon m1 plus m2 into into t square in question if they have given us that if m1 equals to m2 then uh, x is gt square by 4 let us check whether this is the case or not then s is half m g upon 2m t square and this is indeed 1 by 4 g t square so this is the this is our right answer thank you